Hello, and um, welcome to another Monkeys Motors Monday morning vlog. Today will be the first vlog with everyone on the back, probably the first of many. Um, she quite often comes on my bike to work nowadays. She sometimes rides her bike in, sometimes she'll drive the car, but where we've got bikes we don't have permits for work, so she has to park like 10-15 minutes down the road and walk in. So, you know, the walk's good exercise, a bit of fresh air, but... It is more convenient on the bike. But, um, yeah, what's been going on with me this week then? Uh, as you saw on Friday, I had a bit of fun with the car at the traffic light. Was that a little 125? Um, distractions. Yeah, I had fun with that car at the traffic light. I think Reddit informed me it was like a 363 Porsche or something. I've probably hashed that completely. I can't remember what it was. But anyway, fancy Porsche. Nearly got to rub myself on that. Could have been fun. Um, and then Saturday, I uh, went up to London to see my mate Graham. There was a festival going on by his house, the Cooling Festival. So we went to that, um, and that was pretty good. Uh, I did take the GoPro up for me, so that's another thing. I'm hoping that that GoPro is still kind of pointing vaguely in the right direction, but I have had it off the bike and off that mount, so I've kind of put it back where I think it might should go but I haven't tested it so if you can only see my chest or only see the sky my apologies I'll get that sorted oh come on red light this has been ages why do you hit stuck at every light when you leave for work late this is what happens it's just shit but yeah I took the GoPro up I might sneak a tiny bit of that footage now on the bottom of the screen but I won't use much because obviously it's got my face in it quite a lot but um it was a good laugh I uh I had, like, had it on a chest mount for a bit, walking through the crowds, and then, yeah, we stuck it on Graham's head, because he's quite tall, so you can see over the crowds. It was quite a bit of fun. Um, I did somehow, though, manage to, like, break it. I don't know how, but I, um, after a little while, it kind of did what the drift did, where it would kind of have a little issue and crash. And, you know, on the drift, that would be the point where I would take the battery out, put the battery back in. You know, the drift probably does it once a month temperamental little bugger but um obviously with a gopro hero it is a complete sealed unit so you can't take the battery out it just you know kept coming up saying busy busy even if you took the memory card out it was um yeah it was being quite unresponsive but i was kind of too drunk to sensibly try and fix it and by the morning it seemed to be magically working again so i don't know if it kind of fixed itself after five minutes but we were too drunk to notice i don't i don't know really but Oh, come on, if you're going to do it, do it sensibly. I guess that was nice of that car. He's now... No, oh, no, I have no idea what's happening. He's like, I can't handle this. It's too early. But, uh, no, yeah, London was good fun. Running around with a GoPro. Got a few funny looks, obviously. Uh, so I had the chest harness on. But I kind of put it on under my shirt, <laughs> which wasn't very comfortable. But luckily I was drunk, so it was fine. Um, cause yeah, it was proper hot, so you got all this plastic and stuff stuck to your skin, but um, yeah, I had it under my shirt, so just the little mount camera thing was sticking out through the holes in my shirt. So it's kind of had a floating GoPro on my chest, it was quite funny. <laughs> but um, yeah, that was Saturday. Oh, also Friday, I got round to get my chain tightened. I'm horrendous with chain maintenance, I feel bad for the bike. Um, and I know it's costing me in the long run, you know, I'm gonna be getting through chains and sprockets sooner than I should but I really would love a shaft driven bike if it weren't for the fact about you know I don't know how much they've fixed this whole talk you get from the um, shaft spinning behind you I've heard you know not that I ever do wheelies but that it kind of wants to pull the bike to one side obviously where it's rotating around behind you but the thought of having a maintenance free drive train it's oh, it just excites me excites me a lot but, um, but yeah, chain's tightened, so this bike's nice and happy now. I can, you know, sadly, and worryingly, I can notice, so obviously the chain was not how it should have been. But um, hey ho, live and learn. One day I'll get myself a paddock stand and start taking care of this bike myself, but for now I'll pay someone else to do it. You know, the thought of loosening the nuts that hold on the rear wheel and then being in charge of putting them back on correctly, it's a bit like, you know, do that wrong. The wheel falls off. Whee. Anyway. 
So I've managed to somehow waffle on for a couple of minutes despite having nothing to talk about. That's kind of how these Monday morning vlogs go. But um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. I'm going to wave, but you know I want to wave, but you know, you know I'm kind of holding in the clutch, so the waving wouldn't go too well. I might just crash into the side of this car though. <laughs> anyway, see ya.